Hi, welcome to JJ the Car Configurator. Today we're going to be doing the Rivian R1T, which is a revolutionary new electric uh, pickup truck. Uh, has a lot of really interesting features that other cars don't have. Um, number one being a motor at each one of the wheels individually. It gives an incredible amount of control for four-wheel drive situations and better ground clearance as there's no axle uh, running between the wheels. So, um, or drive shafts. It's pretty, pretty, pretty revolutionary. Um, so, uh, moving on, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the R1T. T is for truck. Uh, and then the other model that's coming out later is called the R1S. S is for SUV. Uh, so, uh, the truck is the one that's available right now, so that's the one we'll do. Uh, this is the page for the R1T. As you can see, it has this rolling video of the truck driving on the road and doing off-road things. Pretty neat stuff. Um, it's a very nice website, actually. You scroll down a little bit here. And uh, you see this yellow button that says configure now, you click that. And uh, it brings up the configurator. And um, the first thing it asks you if you want the adventure package or the explore package. The adventure package being the more expensive one. It's got this nice link right here. You click on it and it actually breaks down really clearly, uh, better than most other uh, configurator websites. Uh, of what exactly makes the uh, the differences, and uh, I'll just go over it really quick. Um, you can get the same battery packs with them, um, but you get a powered tonneau cover instead of the manual one. Uh, if you go to the adventure package, you get a gear guard, which is I believe like an organizational system for the bed. Uh, both get the air compressor. You get the better sound system by Meridian in the uh, adventure pack. Um, you get the uh, ash wood interior finishes instead of uh, matte black finishes. Um, uh, you get uh, perforated vegan leather instead of regular vegan leather, which I think is a new way of saying vinyl. Um, but yeah, we're saying that now. Uh, and the reason that you get the perforated vegan leather with the uh, adventure package is because you get heated and ventilated seats where they're just heated. Um, with the, the lesser package. Both get a heated steering wheel, which is really crucial with an electric car, in my opinion. Um, then um, you get driver and passenger lumbar adjustment, where it's just driver uh, lumbar adjustment. Um, this this compass yellow interior accents, okay, whatever. Um, you get a 100% recycled microfiber headliner on the adventure pack versus a textile, which I think is just a way of saying fabric. Uh, and you get uh, nicer floor mats. <laughs> so, um, in my opinion, I don't need any of this stuff in the adventure package. I, I live here in Buffalo. We we don't need ventilated seats here. It doesn't get that hot. Um, and like the wood interior is very nice, um, but I, I don't think I need any of this. So personally, I would save the money. It's something you could take a look at yourself and make that decision because it really isn't that much more expensive. Uh, yeah, so it jumps from 67 to 73. So um, either way, it's expensive. So I'm going to stick with the Explore package. Um, also, you notice when I changed that, the mirrors changed from body color to black. It doesn't mention that in that uh, breakdown, but that is something that appears changes. Um, the large pack, it's funny, they, they, they separate the batteries to two sizes, and it's large and max. Um, my car right now, I have a Chevy Bolt that has a 259-mile range. I have not had any problems with range anxiety with my, my driving with that car. So, personally, I would save the $10,000 and go with the, the smaller, large pack. Um, so that's where I would go with that. If I were driving more than that, or planning to do road trips, maybe I'd go to the bigger one. But for me personally, I wouldn't do that. Next up, um, the color. I am such a sucker for green cars. Um, anytime a green is offered, boy, it looks really good. It's called forest green. Um, one interesting color that I really like also, um, it's this blue that they call Rivian blue. I've never seen a, a car maker actually paint a car in a color and call it their brand. I've heard the term Ford blue, but I've never seen a car that was actually a Ford that was painted Ford blue. Usually it's just mentioning the color that's like in the badge. Um, but uh, they, they've done that. They've got this this kind of funky yellow color. Um, but I'm going to stick with the green because if I can get a car in green, I get it in green. Next up are the wheels, and it's really interesting. Um, the wheels are huge on this thing. 
Um, the standard size is 21. For an upgrade, you can go down to a 20 inch wheel and uh, get all terrain tires. Um, with it being an off roader, I think uh, it makes sense to do that. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd actually like smaller wheels than 20s. Personally, I would, if I get like 17s, that's what I would do. Um, it must have really large brakes because this thing's incredibly fast. There are 16 threes. It's 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 a rocket ship, um, so it must have big brakes to stop it. Um, that's why it probably has uh, 20 inch wheels as the small wheels. Um, and if you look, even with the 20 inch wheels, in, in, at least in the picture they show here, it, it's got a lot of sidewalls. So they just these things just must be massive. So that's what the direction I would go with. Also, I think it, it just looks more aggressive with a little more sidewall. Um, Full-size spare is $800. Why wouldn't you to get a full-size spare? That, that, that time that you need it, you'd have it. Uh, so um, here's something that I don't think I would do. Um, the off-road upgrade is $2,000. It reinforces the underbody shield, and it adds uh, dual front bumper tow hooks. Uh, I don't think I would be doing that much off-roading myself. I just would more want the look. That's where I went with the nicer wheels and tires. Um, so that's all I would really do to the truck on the exterior. So now there's this button that says interior. Let's go there. Um, not a ton of choices here yet. You get two interior colors, uh, black and this ocean coast, which is, I think is their way of saying white. Um, I would not do a white interior on a pickup truck. If you're doing pickup truck things, that just seems crazy to me. So I'd stick with black. Uh, all right, next up. Um, so here's something that's really interesting that no other car manufacturer offers at this point. Uh, they have this kitchen that pulls out of the side. Um, in Right behind the rear seats and uh, almost entering the bed area, there's this storage area. And uh, it's a very handy place to put things, locks. Um, but Rivian offers this pull-out kitchen that uh, it offers silverware and cookware and it's got a stove. Um, I have no use for this for $5,000, but I think this would actually be extraordinarily handy, not just for camping, as, as you would conventionally think it would be used, but uh, well, at least here in Buffalo, uh, we do a lot of tailgating at our different uh, sporting events and concerts, and uh, this would be a great party trick for anybody that's looking to do that sort of thing. Um, you, know, you, you just pull this uh, thing out of the side of your truck and start cooking up some, some chili or something like that. That'd be kind of a hit. So. Uh, I'm not adding it, but it makes sense. Again, they've got a, a $2,600 tent, and you can get different colors. Um, I don't think I would get that either. Uh, and then you go down to the cargo and mounts. Uh, you get this thing that's called a gear tunnel shuttle. So it's that front storage area, and you can put things on there and slide it in and out to make it a little bit easier to get things in and out of. I don't think I'd bother. I'd just climb in there and grab it. Uh, cargo crossbars, it's something you always add later. Um, then moving on, you can go to charging. You can get a wall charger. Uh, it's five hundred dollars. I would just shop around. A wall charger is a wall charger. Um, I, I I bought an aftermarket one. They're a few hundred bucks cheaper. Um, and you can get floor mats and the other kind of accessories. Uh, I wouldn't get any of this stuff because it's stuff you can buy later. So there it is, seventy-one thousand six hundred dollars. I've got my green Rivian pickup truck ready to go. So uh, if you get a chance, like and subscribe. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. If you uh, want to email me, uh, JJ, the car configurator at gmail.com. Uh, go ahead and send me if you have suggestions for different cars that you want. Uh, you can put the suggestions down in the comments. Either way, uh, I'll be reading everything, and uh, uh, I'd like to hear from you. Thank you very much.